This 1981 Chevrolet Monte Carlo is suffering from probably the single most common ignition failure of any GM anywhere, especially if it's equipped with an HEI. Let me tell you what's going on. Went to start this this morning to go get groceries, just do normal life things. Crank, no start, pull the spark plug wire, pop the spark plug in, test it against the ground. We are out of spark completely. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's got to be the ignition module. So I got a new one from AutoZone. Let's get the cap off and take a look and get this swapped off. So before I go any further, I've just verified that I have, you know, nearly 12 volts at the uh, positive side uh, of the ignition system at the HEI. I've just got the bat terminal taken care of. I know this car was cranked on a fair bit, so the battery is probably a little low. I'll get it on the charger shortly, but at least I've proved that I do have power to the ignition. So we already proved we have 12 volts at the distributor on the power wire. So what's next? You can check the coil across the primary windings, the yellow and red or the outer two ones. It's supposed to between, be between zero and one ohm. And this is an auto ranging multimeter and you can see, let me get the light correctly here. We're running 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms well within spec. So let me change up my probes and I'll show you the secondary winding. Now the secondary winding is between here and here. And from what I understand, based on what I've read, you're supposed to be between 3,000 and 30,000 ohms. So we can just hook the alligator clip up there, let it do the thing. And you can see we're in kilo ohms, so that's that times 1,000. So that's 7.7 .7 kilo ohms or 7,700 ohms. So this coil is within spec. And knowing that the coil is good, we can go deeper. Odds are this is the ignition module. I've seen this a bunch of times. Now, how can you test the magnetic pickup? You really can't without an oscilloscope. If you were to go through all these things and change out the module, the coil tests out good, and you still have no spark, the next thing would be to consider it would be changing out the magnetic pickup, which isn't exactly an easy task. You have to take the distributor out. It's kind of a pain to do. I've changed one because I was questioning it, not necessarily because it was bad. So let's get digging into this a little bit deeper. So now that I know that we've got power to the distributor, power to the ignition, everything is as it should be there, let's take the cap off and get to the ignition module because that's the most common failure on these things. And once you're this far in, ignore the uh, windshield washer squirter. The module is right here. You got a connector on both sides of it, and then it's just two screws. Sometimes they're hex, sometimes they're Phillips, sometimes they're Torx. I've seen them all. This little guy's going to come out, and we're going to pop the new one in. As always, comparing the old part to the new part, word of caution, if your vehicle is like mid-80s G-Body or tr uh, GM truck, a lot of them were computer, computer controlled, lots of bunny ears on that one, and they had oftentimes seven pins, four on one side, three on the other. Uh, this one is formerly computer controlled. It is now, as it should be, uh, all mechanical and everything. So it's the four pin style module. Then we're just going to turn it over, squirt the heat paste all over the bottom, give it a, a wipe around, put it back in its place. With the ignition module swapped, let's hit the key and see if it fires. And just like that, with a new ignition module, it comes to life. Now, I understand that if you're a seasoned veteran, you know this already, but there's a lot of people who are just getting into cars for the first time, and the crank no start like that can really trip you up if you've never experienced it and don't know what you're looking for. So keep that in mind. The GM HEIs, the ignition module is a very common failure. And unfortunately, from what I'm hearing from my mechanic friends, that electrical components are not getting any better. They're actually getting worse. I replaced this module a year ago, almost to the day, and it's dead. So keep that in mind, guys. Get quality parts if you can get them. Uh, otherwise, sometimes the parts are a replacement you might want to pick up two so that way you've got it on hand if this ever uh, trips you up again. I mean, realistically, this is a 20, 25 minute fix tops and it can, you know, totally wreck your day because the car doesn't go anywhere. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you later.